Kharkiv. Doctors are trying to help wounded people after the Russian shelling. At that moment, the occupiers opened fire again. On April 18th, Kharkiv residents were advised not to leave the bomb shelters due to massive enemy shelling. Dozens of towns and villages across the country are also under fire. Russians are striking residential neighborhoods. Hundreds of Ukrainians are being killed by rocket launchers, flamethrowers, bombs and missiles. Emergency services keep finding more corpses in the liberated towns. For example, in Bucha, Kyiv region, among those who did not evacuate, one in five civilians was murdered by Russian troops. Meanwhile, occupiers keep bragging to their relatives how women and children were killed. Короче, они ее нахуй расстреляли, блядь. Она еще лежит, дергается, голова в дыру, блядь, короче, в голове дыру. Охренеть, все, хватит. Короче, блядь, позвали еще нахуй, он еще раз стрельнул, она еще лежит, дергается, блядь. Короче, он еще раз стрельнул. They killed and raped hundreds of people and keep gathering forces for new war crimes. Covert mobilization in Russia is in full swing for weeks. New soldiers, as soon as they get to the war zone, don't rush to enter the battle, but steal from their own partners. Вообще сброд, они, короче, люди, чтобы ты понимал, как сказал этот полковник, 10 дней назад собрали сброд по всему Ростову. Там наркоманы, деды, блядь, и проститутки, блядь, в мужском виде все. In the occupied territories, men massively are being taken into the Russian army, without exceptions. It doesn't matter if they are a 16-year-old or 65-year-old, Russians give them weapons and send to the front line. Всех мужчин не выпускали. И пошла мобилизация. То есть людей забирали с улицы, с работ, с автобусов, с квартир, домов. Катали туда-сюда. Закрытый поезд, ни выхода, ничего, полностью, ну, заблокирован. Russians go to Ukraine to kill, but being captured, they say they don't know where they are and why. And while the detained occupiers are being held in Ukrainian pretrial detention centers, their wives and girlfriends are betraying them with their own colleagues. Что с кем? А где он? Салам, салам, брата, как я. Можно выключить? А что ты делаешь с таджиком? Он мне испаритель привез, он недалеко от дома, а мне испаритель нужен был. И что? Я тут сейчас могу поработать. Даша, стоять. ты дура? Что? Не встречайся больше с ним. Ладно. This man probably was even more upset. He called his father in Russia to say that he was fine. Instead, he heard only dance and accusations. If Russians treat their children this way, should we expect them to sympathize with others' children? So they kidnap, rape and kill them. According to the Ukrainian Prosecutor General's office, at least 205 children have already died at the hands of the occupiers, another 360 were injured. And this is only preliminary data. After all, in some places, such as the ruined Mariupol, it's still impossible to count the number of victims.